auto diagnostics. Just got done putting a new uh, control module PCM in this 2002 uh, Dodge van 1500. Uh, something I noticed, so I go for a test drive and it's got a, doesn't have that much power. So is that a new PCM issue? Uh, it possibly could be. I mean, this is this is a chance you take. This was a, a new or rebuilt PCM from the manufacturer from Chrysler. Uh, I have seen issues with new modules being being bad or programming inside the modules being bad. But is it is it the control module or is it a separate issue? And you know, so I did notice something on the test drive that I auto-populated the the screen on the scan tool that I that I want to show you guys so let's take a look so right now I have a custom PID selection I have the throttle position sensor volts uh, throttle position percentage or throttle percentage and the minimum throttle position sensor volts so uh, one thing you want to look at, I'm going to press the gas all the way down to the floor. If my editing skills are any good, I will be posting maybe right down in here. Let's see, right down in here, showing the, the pinout connector. So a throttle position sensor needs 5 volts. It's a three-wire sensor, so it needs a 5-volt reference. It needs a ground, and then the third wire is the signal from the potentiometer inside the throttle position sensor that sends the signal back to the computer to tell where where the throttle angle is or the percentage of the throttle angle and that goes throttle position sensor weighs heavy on a lot of the systems and stuff so right now like i said five uh, three wire sensor has five volts when you push it all the way down to the floor Actually, we'll go into the guided component test just because it gives you some information in here in case you are unsure of how a component works. Uh, let's see, throttle control system, throttle position sensor, component information. Okay, a throttle position sensor is a three wire, five volt potentiometer as the throttle is opened an increasing voltage signal is sent to the PCM throttle position sensor is not adjustable PCM uses lowest throttle position sensor voltage seen during that key cycle as minimum throttle position sensor value PCM sees this as a closed throttle sees it as a closed throttle all other throttle values are based off minimum throttle position sensor tells you best location you can see the pin out here so you have the you have the PCM 5 volt signal or reference you have the PCM ground you have the, and then the signal back to the PCM so we go in here to the DC voltage test I will not be using the scope I think it's overkill on this test right here uh, because it's something I can do with a scan tool one less tool I need to break out so that's what it should look like um, and it's saying here, key on engine off with throttle fully closed, voltage may be as low as 0.6 of a volt. Slowly sweep the throttle to full open. Voltage should reach about 3.5 volts. There should be no dropouts or glitches. Okay, so I mean, that gives us some good information. Don't need the scope for this, like I said. Okay, we have the throttle position sensor volts, 0.66 volt, uh, key on engine off without the throttle touched so that's correct so I am going to not sure if you guys can see but I am going to go all the way down to the floor I'm all the way down to the floor and I'm holding it okay again so what do we need to see at full throttle so right now it is at 1.45 volts that's half I mean, and that's me all the way down on the gas pedal, as hard as I can mash it. This is me trying it a couple other times, and I am just pounding this through the floor, right? And it came up a little bit, 1.48, but it's nowhere near the 3.5. So 
I verified the five volts to it. I verified the ground. Uh, thing is, something you don't want to overlook. This is cable driven. Okay. Cable from, sorry guys. Cable from the pedal that comes over to. Here is the cable, the throttle cable. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I want to know if it is in the cable. And so I'm gonna bypass the throttle cable, come over here and open it up by hand and go all the way full sweep. I mean, I have this thing pegged, okay? So I'm just sitting here holding it and we'll go back to the scan data and see what it says. Okay, back to the scan data. So if we pause this and we go back, right there, it's saying 3.69 volts. Okay, so manually doing it, bypassing the th actual throttle cable, where we get the right voltage. So this thing has a this thing has a, a binding or yeah binding throttle cable which is not causing which is causing it to not register correctly okay and it's not going into the full throttle sweep and everything so this thing is going to get a cable uh, and that will take care of that issue throttle position sensor itself is good it's completely good but this will restore the power issue and it just goes to show you know yeah i put a pcm in it um, and it could really send you down a rabbit hole by going to drive it and not having power, you, know, you could start thinking, it, it, is it the PCM? What, what's going on? Is it programming inside the PCM? Is there another issue? This example right here, it was another issue. Um, two separate issues. Uh, something, you know, this was fairly easy to catch on the scan tool because I knew what I was looking for. Um, so if you have a low power complaint, it's always always good to look at those throttle position sensors. They, they hold a lot of weight. Um, for a lot of the systems. I mean, it's, they're not reading right. You're, you're not gonna be running right. <laughs> Pretty simple. All right, guys, quick update. Got a used throttle uh, cable installed on this uh, 2002 Dodge. And just wanted to show you the scan data, uh, how uh, this was a confirmed fix. So we have throttle position, uh, percentage, Obviously at zero right now, throttle position sensor voltage. I am going to go do the same test that I did before. Pedal all the way down to the floor. I'm holding it. Throttle position, <laughs> I can't talk. Throttle percentage, 93%. Voltage, 3.63%. Or 3.63 volts. <laughs> Oh my God, this is too early in the goddamn morning. All right, so this is me playing with the throttle. We have full throttle response, full voltage sweep. This is, it needed a PCM, needed a new cable. This thing is good to go. Another Chrysler, another PCM. It, it's just the way it goes. I've done more computer replacements in Chrysler alone than all the other manufacturers put together. I don't know if that's just me or if you guys run into the same kind of issues, but Chrysler is just, uh, they need to step their game up on the modules. Or actually, don't step the game up on the modules because it's making me a ton of money. So, <laughs> again, thanks for watching, guys. Just quick update. Talk to you guys later.